Here we demonstrate stop and chop techniques using OZIL. We use a dispersive OVD and start with an excess of around 5.3 millimeters using a cystitone. Using a 27 gauge cannula, we do a hydro dissection and always remember to tap on the other side for the fluid to come out so that it doesn't get trapped and cause a PCR. For the parameters, here we are talking about 30 millimeters IOP and aspiration rate of 26 and a maximum vacuum of 550 600. So once you've cleared the superficial loose cortex, we start trenching. I make a bigger highway so that my tip can go in easily. It's a hard grade 4 nucleosclerosis. Now here I am showing where is the exact place where you have to bury the tip. Not superficially, it has to be uh, in the deep harder part of the nucleus. Here we are using a chopper which is like a tapered point. Kind of a long sinski. And you initiate the first crack. We rotate and complete the crack. See to it that the surface posteriorly is broken. Again, the right place to bury the. And then you, what you do is a vertical chop and a lateral separation. Mind the direction in which I am initiating the chop and doing the lateral separation. And you make multiple small pieces because smaller the pieces, lesser is the energy used for eating each individual piece. You need enough vacuum to hold the piece. You need not always achieve a full occlusion. But if you have not held the piece properly, it's just going to eat through and make a cavitation out there. Again, if you realize I am not allowing the pieces to occlude my tip because I want to use the ozil to its maximum efficiency. Now if you realize there is one piece which has just flown off and gone hidden somewhere. We do the bimanual wash up, cortical wash up. and then the anti capsule polishing and then the PC polishing as well to remove off whatever remnants of epithelium is there on the PC so that you don't get a PCO we insert the IOL under irrigation and you can see that small piece which was lost during the FACO emulsification is come out and now when I try to hold it again it's all again disappeared somewhere. I'm trying to search for that small piece. A good idea is to actually go below the iris and do a good irrigation. And there it comes. These are the small pieces which can cause recurrent uveitis post-operatively. 
and there we finished the case with the small hydro.